with New Orleans Saints defensive end, Marcus Davenport. Marcus, you know, it's a weird time for athletes right now. How are you staying active? Um, really, uh, I'd kind of say I normally just have an active lifestyle. But, you know, I, I try to go out and walk with my family, you know, chances when I get, you know, still trying to work out. Luckily, I happened to buy a lot of equipment before, so it's kind of paying off now. And, um, you know, just kind of blessed with those different opportunities. You know, you mentioned your family. I know you have a little one. How are you enjoying this extra time being able to spend it with them? Um, I'd have to say, you know, that's probably the best part of all this. You know, um, even beyond that, you know, I, I can say, honestly, all this um, isolation, you know, you get kind of a lot of time to actually, like, reflect. And um, I can say that's been a blessing. And um, seeing my son grow, <laughs> you know, that's always going to be, you know, on top of everything. Great. You know, I'm sure you watched the draft last night. Saints took a center in the first round. That left a lot of Saints fans pretty skeptical. What was your thought on that pick? Um, hmm. Honestly, like, no real thought. You know, at, <laughs> at a certain point, you just got to trust. You know, you trust the process. You trust the coaches. And, uh, you know, I, I can say over the past three years, you, you know, we should be well trusted in what we do. So, you know, hey, we just got to see a timeout. Now I've got to ask you, Tom Brady leaves the Patriots to go to the Bucks. Rob Gronkowski comes out of retirement to join him. The Saints are obviously going to face them in the fall or whenever the season proceeds. How do you think that duo is going to affect NFC play? Uh, you know, obviously, they just adding those two makes the Bucks good. They've already been dangerous. Um, so, you know, it's just going to be more of a challenge, but, you know, Hey, it can't affect us too much. You know, we still shoot for number one. So, you know, that's, that's what we aim for. And do you have any personal goals for the upcoming season? <sighs> Let's see. Uh, I got one goal, and I have to talk about it every chance I get. I, I, I just want to be better than Cam. So, <laughs> yeah, I tell Cam that every day, too. But uh, that's, that's, that's just the one goal because, you know, he's a great player. And, shoot, if you can be better than him, then you're on top. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Stay safe and enjoy this time with your family. I'm Abby Alonzo, and this is Alonzo Sports.